Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Sol Zero Mars Colonization. My name, of course, is Obra Potato, and, uh, and today I think we're going to switch it up a little. Instead of launching our normal big rocket, we're actually going to go for the, uh, the smaller rocket, and, and this is going to allow us to, uh, to launch a weather satellite, of course, which is exactly what we really want to do. Um, no idea how this is going to help us in the long run, but I think it's important to sort of have those, uh, those, those prior warning systems in place for when the accident or when the emergency actually occurs. Because, you know what, there's, there's nothing else that we really need. Uh, however, we do need to build a 3D printer, uh, and that'll be pretty cool at the moment. That'll, that'll, that'll be pretty cool to build. Uh, weather satellite deployed, that's great. Does that increase our... I would presume it increases our radar. We have one radar. If we build more radar, does that go up? I don't really know. Um, upgrade refinery. We don't really want to upgrade the refinery, do we? That's a lot of manual labor. It's a lot of manual labor I can't be bothered with. Stop bulldozing. Go round. There we go. Um, okay, we've got 36 kilowatts of extra electricity. You can return to the refinery. You can return to the refinery. And you can continue mining. Or not. You can just return to the refinery as well then. Um, I think we probably are actually going to 3D printer this uh, this episode. I mean, why the heck not? We might as well. Uh, we still need to build some more farms. So uh, get to it, Mr. Astronaut. Um, build one there. Why not? And then we can build a last one over... Well, you need to move out of there, buddy. And we can build the last one there. Beautiful. And we can select... We can't use anything. Hmm, that's fine. That's that's alright. We we can't really use any crops or anything yet. So that's that's okay. Uh, you need to be over here. Please? That's good. I don't think our base needs to get any bigger at the moment. Uh, our, we are sort of burning through our food supply. Or burning through our water supply. Rather quickly. Let's convert this to a refrigerator. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Um, okay, you can come back up here. And you can come back to reality as well. Okay, let's get this 3D printer set up. I don't know if it needs to be connected to anything, but we might as well try. Okay, build 3D printer. Does it need to be connected to anything? I think it probably does. Let's try and plug it in over here. What's wrong with that? Why? Why not? Why won't you work? Do you need to be connected to something specific? Uh, oh, connected to a pallet. Oh, that's easy. Oh, even easier then. And you'll automate it for us. Great. Go, go finish the building. Awesome. So, what do we do? Just a box. Does it take up resources? I don't really know. Oh yeah, so so it's a hundred a hundred kilograms of ore per box that we're printing. Uh, that's that's gonna gonna take a lot. That's gonna take a lot of iron. We're gonna need to start upping iron production, guys. Um, okay, you down here. You down here. And you down here. Yeah, finish off that little patch there. Okay, nice. So we've got those guys on the job. Solar panels need maintenance. I hate solar panels. I want to replace them all really, really soon, but we can't really do that, unfortunately. Um, bit of a bummer there. Um, what, what else can we do? What else can, what else can we do? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, let's get... We'll select this astronaut over here. See what else you can build. Whoa. Yeah, select... See what else you can build. You can build a monument. Whoa, we can now build a nuclear reactor? What on earth? The monument allows Colony to declare independence from Earth. Ending all rocket launches to the surface, population will grow by two every 100 sols. Haha, <laughs> that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Um, a nuclear reactor. It's going to take two water. Uh, we're not really so hot on water at the moment, but I think it would be good. Complete the Martian City Challenge to unlock. The Colony Planning and the Terraforming Challenge. 
How do we do that? I don't know. I think we should probably, uh, we should probably try and build this. This nuclear reactor. And uh, that would be a heck of a lot more efficient. Yeah, that, that's pretty much exactly what we need at the moment. Uh, let's try and build it up there. We will get the, uh, get the, the astronaut over here. To drop this off, please. Drop it off. And then you can come and destroy this, and we will replace you with a nuclear reactor. Yes, that is correct. Uh, and in fact, you can actually go and build a recycling center on the side of that. You're already in automate mode, that's fine. Wow, check us out. We are we're we are rattling through this. Uh, terraforming. Terraforming provides excellent soil for all farms. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's let's uh, let's let's work on on this nuclear reactor over here. Okay, sweet. Uh, and do we actually have enough resources? I don't think we do. I think we need a heck of a lot more. So, 3D printer, you get printing. Okay, now we can actually start uh, these guys mining, which is nice. You can mine. You can mine as well, and you can mine too. I think we've lined them up pretty much perfectly. Yeah. That's not too bad. Warning air leak. Oh, okay. Sorry. That close that. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much out of supply crates. Yeah, about that. About that. We, well, to be honest, we can. Well, in fact, we can just launch a new rocket. Why not? Uh, and we are 3D printing some some more materials as we speak, so that's fine. Uh, we'll just set it on auto print. Why not? Okay, let's let's get uh, let's get the the next the next rocket up, and this is going to take pretty much exclusively supply crates. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all we need, isn't it? Um, can we take any more colonists? I think we can actually. I think let's let's take four more colonists, see if they're happy with that, and uh, and hopefully they will be. That's great. Let's launch it right away. I think I, we're a bit. I don't know. We could probably do with adding some more stuff on board, but I don't think we really need anything to be honest. Um. Food, yeah. Water, yeah, I suppose that's fine. Great, let's launch. Let's skip it. We've already seen a rocket launch today. I know it's a big rocket launch. I know you probably want to see it, but you know what? I, I figure it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you want to see it, leave it, in the, leave it something in the comments below. Tell me that you uh, that you care about the rocket launches. And uh, and I'll be sure to sure to make sure to let you watch them next time. Um, okay, you're auto-printing. That's fine. You guys should all be mining. You probably have stopped. Yeah, get back to work. Okay, you're all mining now. That's fine. Uh, that is good. Population is too low to support colony. It shouldn't be. It should not be. We're, we're doing pretty well. And we've got a nuclear reactor. Oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? How does this even work? A reactor is overheating. We've got enough water. We we do have enough water. That is indeed correct. Um. Well, that sort of took me a little bit by surprise. Area clear of minerals. Okay. Well, uh, we're running out of iron rapidly, aren't we? Um. Bit of a problem, actually. Move down a bit. Yeah, move down a bit and mine. Population is too low to support the colony. Why? We're on... Well, we we, should, we could probably do with building some more astronaut-y, barracky things. Um, yeah, let's, let's get you. Stop you automating. And bring you over here. Whoop. Bring you over here. And uh, we can actually methane you up, refuel you, and launch you away. And you can come over here as well. Nice. Uh, we're all right for power, which is which is a blessing in disguise, if I'm honest. Uh, that is that is rather nice. Um, what what can we build? We can probably dismantle this actually. If we destroy this over here, yeah, let's destroy that. There we go. Warning air leak. Thank you. Armor is on 80%. Population is still too low to support this colony. Come on, come on, guys, get get your stuff together. 
Uh, and we're going to build a brand new habitat right here because I think we need it. Uh, and indeed we do. You're still an automate, so you'll go and build that. That's nice. How much power are you actually providing us? Like, I, I don't know. Okay, so you're... I, I don't understand how this works. Not overheating, is it? Okay, is that is that doing something? What does this do? What is what is it happens if, if it gets to the top? Well, okay, so we get we get a heck of a lot of electricity. That's what happens, and it's minusing. Okay, okay, that that's good actually. We can go and destroy these gosh darn solar panels and free up some resources. Uh, how are you overheating? take you offline then um, I don't know why you're overheating you shouldn't be that's not really uh, what the doctor ordered I don't think and uh, we you know we can uh, no I don't really where's our other astronauts where are they okay yep yeah, that's fine we're destroying you forklift over here you can come and help out this guy who's trying to destroy all the stuff that's nice Population is too low to support the colony. Well, I'm working on it. I'm working on it as fast as I can. Um, let's build some more infrastructure. It's about time, eh? Build a straight hall here. Or can we not? Uh, that could be a little bit of a problem, actually. Well, that doesn't really work. That doesn't really work at all. Um... I think we're going to have to destroy this habitat, unfortunately. After just so recently building it. A recycling center is ruptured. Well, you get on that. Repair that, please. Okay, put you down. We're going to destroy you because we can't fit you in. I'm really sorry. Um, and that's a little bit of a bummer for us, really. And we're actually going to build another straight hall there. Nice. Colonist has died from inadequate facilities. Inadequate facilities? What the heck? Space, do you read me? I, I don't understand. That's uh, that's okay, though. We, we don't really need that many colonists at the moment. I think we, we will start to have a little bit of a shortage soon. Okay, there. Put you in place there. That's fine. We'll have oxygen to this new area that we're going to build. Uh, and now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to build a nice snaky train down here. Okay, th there is method in the madness. In fact, you go around here. Yep, you pick up that, and then we can build a straight hallway here. Which is fine. Okay, so we were we are gonna have to go sort of the long way around now, but that's not really an issue for me. Uh, solar panels need maintenance. I don't really care about solar panels anymore. Solar panels are a thing of the past. Um. Okay, perhaps we should build a. Perhaps that needs to be a four way. Yeah. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. Um. Okay. You pick me up some supply crates, please. And then you get back around here. And you build a four-way hallway. Nice. Okay, that's fine. And then over here, you can build a another four-way hallway, actually. We need another four-way hallway. Hopefully it'll fit in. If it doesn't, we're in trouble. But it does, so that's fine. Uh, that's nice. Okay. Now, we need our boulder remover. Where's our boulder remover? Get over here, please. Okay. Is that really the quickest way? To, okay, or just drive over the, the panels. That's awesome. That's fair enough. Um, hopefully, we'll manage to build one down here and then across here and down. Otherwise, we could be in a little bit of trouble. Solar panels do need repair and maintenance. I'm aware of this. I'm very aware of this. Uh, but we are actually destroying solar panels now. 
destroying as many as we can. Because they're just a waste of resources. Um, so, let's... I, I feel we should probably get our next rocket. What's wrong with you? Solar panel needs repair and maintenance. Oh. Um, yeah, I feel we should... Well, okay, let's, let's get this boulder bulldozed first. That's first priority. Yeah, that'll do. Let's stick it in there. Okay, that's nice. Stop bulldozing now. And go up there. You've got supply crates. You can get back over here. That's nice. And you can hopefully build a four-way hallway in here. Yes, it fits. It fits. That was close. That was very, very close indeed. Um, hopefully, this a straight hallway will go in here. That's the plan, anyway. And then hopefully we can build an oxygen generator right here. If we can't, no big deal. We can't, no big deal. Um. That does delay us a little bit, but it's okay because we'll just build another straight hallway across here and then connect this one to an oxygen generator. Okay, that's fine. That's what we mean. In fact, you know what? Could we build an oxygen generator this side? No, we can build one there though, so that's fine. Uh, and you will be... No, just come back down here. Don't bother automating. We'll do it ourselves. Might as well. Great, and now we can open up these doors. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. There we go. That's it. That is us. Wow. We're actually doing really well. I'm surprised at how how well our our little Mars base is going. Um, what else can we do? I know we can we can launch another rocket, and we are going to, and we are going to rather soon. But let's just uh, let's just just get stuff done first. I think that's probably the first port of call. Uh, we need more colonists quite rapidly. Astronauts, start destroying solar panels. And yeah, we can start construction on a new uh, geothermal. Just to just to transfer all the resources over here, uh, we need to turn our nuclear reactor on. Actually, let's get that up to speed. Um, I know we are being sort of a bit lackluster about these uh, solar panels, but I'm honestly okay with that. Okay, that's fine. How many more do we need? Yeah, okay, so you're going to complete the supplies to uh, to that. That's good. Let's build another straight hallway over here. And open the doors up. You can go and collect some more supplies that are being lovingly printed by our 3D printer, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, and we can continue building halls just, just all the way down, really. Um, it's good that we've got that an extra geothermal generator online now, which is which is lovely. Uh, you can build another hallway here, and after that you're going to build another hallway, and after that you can go and build an oxygen generator in here, and we'll stick you on automate as well. In fact, no, let's not stick you on automate. Nuclear meltdown imminent. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What? Whoa! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Fucking hell. Fuck. Shit. F Whoa. Okay, close close all the doors. Close all the doors. Close doors. What the heck was that? What the heck was that? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Uh, on the positive note, we actually did need to get rid of a large amount of that stuff. So, in fact, that does actually free up quite a lot of resources. Uh, well, it doesn't free up any resources, of course, because they all died in a, in a horrible fireball. But, you know, thinking positively. Let's open the doors up there, yeah. Um, 
that does sort of allow us to build another habitat. Huh. <laughs> wow, who would have thought? Uh, we do need... Well, that's we're fine for power, actually. So, that's fine. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it here. Let's get this video to four likes, if we can. Uh, and next episode, we're probably going to start with another rocket launch as well. And then we can probably start, uh, start thinking about rebuilding after that horrific nuclear meltdown. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, my name's been Orbit Potato. If you've enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.